the Sumter Gallery of Art. We're very pleased to have the work of Dee and Harry Hansen up through March 1st. And Harry Hansen, you're here to talk to us about your watercolors, um, a lot of uh, landscapes and animals. What is it that draws you to watercolor? Well, I've just always done it. I started watercolor when I was 9, 10 years old. And uh, until I got to high school, I pretty much taught myself the basics. And then I had a period where I didn't do too much. And then we bought a house on Lake Murray and uh, got out fishing one morning. And I was out there and I got up. The sun has come up. And I said, got to go make a watercolor. <laughs> so I went down. I was about 79. And I went back and really, really took it up seriously then. And, uh, uh, and got got back into it, and uh, but my landscape has always been a sort of a driving force at all. My even my abstract work is landscape oriented. So, where will people find when they come here to look at your work? Well, there's uh, there's about I think there's 49 works. Uh, they're all minor landscapes. So some of these are are other things, but uh, uh, I've always pretty much looked at the landscape and draw a lot of do a lot of thinking while I'm looking at the landscape. Painting is a fairly private activity for me. It's a kind of a, you know, it's a non-verbal activity, and so I find myself thinking about the cosmos and infinity and mm -hmm. things like that. Even when I'm painting, I'm, I'm thinking along those lines. And, but I just uh, I've always liked you know being out all by myself, you know, away from civilization, and uh, so fishing and hiking and that sort of thing are real, real spurs to me to, me to paint. And we should say that this art really is your life, that um, you are a professor at USC. Yeah, and this is my 30th year at USC, so I've been there a while. Yeah. Well, um, this is an exquisite exhibit, and we want to talk to your wife about some of the work. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting to have two people that are artists. We, you know, we've been, we've been, we've known each other for over 40 years, and we've been painting side by side for a long time, but we're still individuals as artists and we, we really do think quite differently as artists and, and, and as people and that's, that's one of the things about painting is it's it's a it's a very individual a very individual process every painting i think is really actually a self-portrait that's so beautiful thank you for being with us yeah, well, it's my pleasure what do you when people come see the show i believe that for the most part they can um, tell your paintings apart from your husband you have yeah. a, a bit of a different style but you too work in watercolor yeah, I do a lot of pattern work. I think even the older things, sometimes I got into just doing lots of little shapes because I could never do a big wash. He always could do the big skies and mine always messed up. So I just had to turn it to my advantage. And then I started doing a lot of colorful things um, and stopping with the landscapes. And I enjoy that, but I started picking up doing all these old type patterns and whimsical dolls jokes to see what would show up against what else, you know, mm -hmm. how, how confusing I could make it and see if it still works. Um, well, I mean, you have some fun subjects, sort of uh, dragons or beasts, um, toys, children, mm -hmm. um, some yeah, sort yeah. of Harlequin figures, yeah. animals. Yeah. Well, the, the masks on the, the figures up there is uh, started because I wanted to do figures and I didn't want to do their faces. I just you know, I wanted to get over that hump. Even though I could do faces, it was t stopping me from doing what I wanted, and that way I kind of turned fun, and then I could get beyond it. And now I'm working on figures that are more realistic and interweaving that with um, patterns and the space and shapes, but I don't have any of those in here yet. <laughs> how long have you been painting? I think I actually started when I was a kid. I the coloring and the drawing and making paper down and interiors and stuff. But I, the first thing I remember doing was a, a drawing of Jimmy Dean when he was really popular. And it was really good likeness and pencil. And my mom got very angry with me because I did it on notebook paper. <laughs> <laughs> and so she swore I should never, ever use notebook paper. <laughs> and you've been working on canvas ever since. Canvas and <laughs> paper ever since, yeah. Well, I know that some people would be just amazed at the um, the detail that's in your watercolor. I, I know when I think of watercolor, I think of things being a, a little more loose form, and these are so detailed. Yeah, yeah, I use a little small brush, but it's sort of fun. I, somebody called, said I zone out when I do it. <laughs> and it's, um, I just do it. I don't know why. I sort of, I crochet in it, 
and it's sort of a play with building something. Um, sometimes I equate some of those patterns as weaving with colors, and I'll take, you know, a blue, and it'll be here, and then it'll be here, and it'll be there, and then another color, color will come across it, and then I'll pick that other one up, and it's, it's actually, if you look, you can follow some colors throughout the background, mainly the background, not the objects. The objects on front are to go against the pattern, mm -hmm. like it's a foil, and, and see how, what kind of space I'm creating. Most of the space, I think, is rather shallow, and I'm, that's conscious, and I don't know why. <laughs> Well, I think that some of the audiences and the surrounding areas will really, really get a treat um, coming to this show. We appreciate you and your husband um, showing here, and I'd like to remind everyone that this exhibit will be up until March 1st here at the Sumter Gallery of Art.